A brand not making your size in something does not give you grounds to talk and degrade the brand. Brands are allowed to want a certain look and image with their products. They are allowed to make things for the people they want to make them for. I've been seeing too many people talking shit recently and it's pissing me off. People are allowed to have preferences and brands are allowed to create an image with what they want and have a specific type of person wear what they have. Period. Not everybody needs to be catered to by everything and everyone. The points so far are pretty solid points. And you can't expect companies to completely cater to all genres of people. It's never going to work. It's never going to happen. A lot of these fat activists as well will sit there and complain to the ends of days, which most definitely will be soon at the rate that they're going, at the fact that there's not any clothing options. And I do want these people to be clothed. I really do. I don't want to see them on public lacking of clothes. I really despise it. Actually, when I go outside and I see somebody that's wearing very, very tight colored clothes or clothes that is very that are very revealing, it's very tough for me to gaze my naked eyes upon somebody that is basically naked and I can see all the folds. I mean, realistically speaking here, depending on how fat that you are, you may not even see anything at all because the gut is holding back all of the extra appendages or the, the pubic areas and things such and so forth. You can maybe tuck, and this goes for men and women, you could tuck the nipples underneath the, the girth. And so there's plenty of ways to hide the exaggeration of your body, but most of the time I don't want to gaze upon it. So there's that. It's very unrealistic for these people to ask for more than what's already there because it's very expensive to bestow upon the rest of like all the retail spaces, all, all, all like extra sizes, like 1X, 2X, 3X. Those aren't even plus sizes according to a lot of people. So you have those other you have those other things like 7X, 9X, 10X, right? You have these very, very exaggerated sizes. These are very expensive to implement. And a lot of places, the way that they put these things out is that they don't charge these retailers based off of like the particular clothing. So like for instance, a small, let's say for instance, cost $5 to make, right? And then, and this like 7X will cost $20 to make because the amount of fabric that they use is greatly exaggerated. You probably make like two or three small shirts for the amount of fabric that you use for that extra, 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 extra large shirt, right? But they don't charge the retailer based off that. They just put the median value across all the sizes that they had. So, for instance, if a small was five, if a medium was six, and then that X seven, that seventeen X was like I don't know twenty. They'll just give the median value of like ten bucks, right? We'll we'll charge you ten bucks across the board for all of it because the consumer ultimately is the one that has to subsidize for the extra cost for that particular. Uh, clothing choice, right? Not many people that are that size are even going out and buying clothes in general. So like it's very niche for having those particular clothes on the shelf to begin with. And then also it's a give or take whether or not that shirt's even going to fit on a particular person. Because as you know, as you get bigger and bigger, shirts don't fit universally around fat people the same way that they're going to fit around another fat person. If you weigh 400 pounds and another person weighs 400 pounds and you wear that shirt, that shirt is no guarantee that's going to fit another 400 pound person because maybe your weight's differently distributed. Maybe you hold your weight in your legs. Maybe you hold your weight in your arms. Maybe you hold your weight in any other place besides that other one where that person holds all the weight in their gut. It's not going to fit the same way. So naturally, um, retailers are not going to be able to hold all sizes across the board. And I think it's a very unrealistic expectation to think that retailers are going to hold those particular sizes. That's ridiculous. We don't do that across any, we don't do that in any place ever. We usually carry sizes or things for the general speaking public. That's what we do. And if you are outside that general speaking public, it is what it is. You're just extraordinary in some particular way. Like for instance, Shaquille O'Neal is a very big, busky, ginormous black man. And that's fine. But he knows that he's outside of the, he's in the extraordinary bracket. He is not the norm, right? So he is outside that bracket. So what does he do? He has to go to places that will custom make him clothes. Or he has to go to very particular places that will actually orient clothing for him. So if you know that you're big and the clothes are not going to fit you, I don't know why you guys would complain about something that's so unrealistic as clothes don't fit me. Therefore, we need to we need to have more clothes in these particular styles. For one, like I said, not going to work, right? It doesn't work. Cost way too much money. And even if we did do it, there's no guarantee that it would even fit you guys, universally speaking, because there's no way you guys are going to fit across all spectrums of bodies. A small body, like for me, I wear small in shirts. If I put on a shirt and another guy that's also wearing like the same height as me, same same whatever, he's going to fit into that shirt most likely, right? And if he can't, he can usually go up maybe one more size, maybe have a little bit saggy, have that Soldier Boy from 2008 look, whatever. The point I'm making is it's very easy for somebody of my size and maybe of your size to wear clothes and it fits somebody else. It's practical. Not for somebody of higher sizes. We don't do this across any other we don't do it anywhere else and for some reason these people think that they're so special and that they need to uh they need to somehow like orient the entire like 
clothing industry for these people. You guys are literally on death's door 24 seven. You have other things to worry about. Now, granted, I, like I said, I want you guys to be clothed, but this is an issue that you have with yourself. You can't complain at the retailers. It's something you have to do. Anyway, this guy deleted the uh, the video. I don't know who this guy Leo is, but uh, he's, he's saying some points here. I guess he was fat at one point. Anyway. And this is a lesson I had to learn when I was fucking fat. I used to think clothes just weren't flattering. No, babe, the body wasn't fucking period, dude. The body is not flattering, dude. I, there's no other way to say it than that. You are the issue. I don't know why these people can never take accountability for themselves. You have to look at yourself in the mirror and understand it is you ultimately that has to make these decisions. Otherwise, nothing is going to be done. You can't expect everyone to make the decisions for you. And flattering. But a lot of brands don't make my size and a lot of shit still. And if a piece of clothing is not flattering on you, it doesn't mean the item or product is not flattering or is not good. It's not made for you. I'm a size 16 shoe. Damn. A lot of brands don't make my size. Do I waste? You know what they say about big feet, right? Big feet equals big hand size as well. There's a big correlating factor there. No, come on. He's probably packing something serious. I don't know. Maybe he is. Maybe he's not. But I do know that when you are that size, when you're a big man, you're going to need something serious swinging. Because otherwise, if you have an, even an average length genitalia, it's going to be very, very difficult for somebody to look upon that and go... That looks small because the correlation, the body, the what's around it, right? The context of the body, the frame is going to be within question. If you are a big man and your genitalia is swinging at average, um, average is great. Don't get me wrong. Most women, most men are okay with average. I would actually go to say that most people want average because it's more tolerable. I've talked to many women that tell me that more than six is like a death sentence for a lot of them or they're going to be walking like Stephen Hawkins the next day or something like that. So average is okay. It's actually optimal. Obviously, for somebody like me, it's not optimal. I'm always going to be swinging something serious between my legs protein all day but you need to be swinging some serious pendulum action you need to be having that crazy long john silver if you know what i'm talking about if you're gonna if you're gonna be a big man you need to have some serious shit and it needs to be girthy too waste my time and lend my energy and focus to what i don't want and what i can't have and attacking brands for not making my fucking size i agree dude these people real deal do waste a lot of time complaining about oh they don't make clothes for me oh the the, the airplane don't fit me oh the towels don't fit me why don't you guys just put all that energy that you make in making all these like years and years worth of tiktok videos and make no mistake about it it is actually years of tiktok videos worth of complaining about the same thing day to day day to day and then ultimately doing nothing about it because i guess you these people have convinced themselves or they've put themselves in circles to where they don't actually ever have to confront the issue because they're in circles of people that just consistently yes queen them over and over and over again and eventually they believe it if you if if a lie if you tell a lie long enough you'll eventually believe it right just look at just pearly things no every single human being is very powerful you have to be careful with where you put your attention and your focus for you to stick your attention and your energy on what doesn't work for you what is not made for you and what brands don't want you to wear their fucking shit you're never gonna have mental space to think and look for and discover brands that are made for you. Or just lose weight. That would be the most optimal thing. If you wanna find clothes at Eric Crombie and Fitch, or I don't even know if anybody goes there anymore, or 21 Forever or whatever it's called, then go there and lose some weight. Aspire to wear the, the crop top, I don't know, the leggings, the jean jacket, whatever girls wear nowadays. Like, do guys shop at Forever 21? Maybe, I don't know. I've only been in there three times and I was returning something. So maybe, I'm not sure. But why would you, right? Why would this guy get canceled? This guy, real deal, got a ton of backlash for this video. Now, granted, the video is not over. I don't know any background for this guy. I just know the basic bare minimum. And I, I saw this video. I saw a whole bunch of fat activists complaining about this. I was like, dude, we got to talk about this. It's got to be fucking crazy. We got to talk about this today, today, today. So I saw this and I was like, this is a great video to talk about, right? No context. This guy should not be getting canceled for this, okay? Like, I mean, this is just me halfway into the video, and there's all there's three of there's two other videos after this because he had made a video after this, I guess, on Instagram that he deleted, and then he had made a video right after that apologizing, which is really really sad because they got him to apologize. Listen, he didn't do anything wrong. I don't think he did. At least I'm not seeing that he did. He said he's speaking the truth in a lot of matters. If you got upset by the truth, then that's your fault. You shouldn't apologize for things that you didn't do wrong. This guy is saying the factual truth. You can't keep focusing on what you don't want and find what you do want. Get your fucking attention off of the shit that's not for you and the things you don't like. I'm never gonna find my size in shoes that I like if all I'm doing is sitting here crying how most brands only go to a 13. 
True. Fuck them. I'm gonna go buy the shoes that go to my size. But or you could just, in, in his case and scenario, it's a little bit different because this guy is literally a big, massive human being. I believe he's six foot seven, which is crazy, by the way. Oh my God, can I get some of those inches? Obviously, I don't need inches in certain areas, but I would appreciate certain inches. If I can give up like, if I can give up like half my inches in my meat that I could put in my height, dude, I would be tall as hell. I'd be massive, bro. I'd probably be bigger than Shaq. Um, and I would still have a 15 inch cock, right? But anyway, the point I'm making here is that this guy speaking these truths and say, saying the things that he does, I mean, it's true, right? But he's coming from, from the aspect of things that you cannot change. You can't change your height. You can't change your foot size. These things are pretty you know, set in stone for you. So he's approaching it in the sense that he's actually being really nice about it, which is like, hey, if you don't want to change, then why are you focusing so much on brands that don't want to sell you stuff and focus instead on things that do want to sell you stuff? What instead I feel like more people should be saying is that, dude, if you really want to buy these clothes and you're complaining about it so consistently and then you think that this is a big enough issue to complain about it for as long as you have, why don't you just lose weight? And that's something that you can control because ultimately these people are always complaining about things that they can never change when in reality they can change, but it's too much easier. It's way too much easier to just see that responsibility that accountability on somebody else or even an organization or in this case an entire like clothing sectors to try to get them to sell you clothes when in reality what is it doing it's just making you it's enabling you to stay in your giant enlarged body so no it's bullshit he's actually being being really nice about it and the fact that he got canceled for it is crazy and you know what's really interesting certain people will get canceled for stuff and it's really interesting how they will get cancer for it, but other people won't, if that makes any sense. Even people with bigger followings. It's really crazy how that works. It's kind of like a black guy can say the N-word, but if white dude says it, they'll get canceled for it, even though it's both universally wrong or not wrong, but it should be seen as the same thing if you guys are, if like everybody is seeing everybody as equal. But the point I'm making is here, it's very interesting that he got canceled for this. Um, he's coming from a fat background. This guy was fat at some point. So he was a big man at one point. I mean, he is still a big man, juiced up too. Look at that bone structure. But he's coming from it from a place of like nuance he's seen it before he has the experience so i don't know man it's just interesting a key point here if my focus is nothing but stuck on the brands that don't make my size i'm gonna feel nothing but frustrated irritated singled out and pissed off that's a waste of your energy true being a human being is a very valuable experience and it's a very precious thing it's true man you think about this right you could have been born as like a gazelle you could have been born as like a lobster you could have been born as like i don't even know like a, a koala like those dudes suck koalas don't do anything besides cry and like push their other friends out of the same tree and then they spend the rest of their lives like crying in trees i don't know dude it's a tough life to be a koala but think about all the beautiful stuff that you can do as a human being you can walk down the street you can eat your food you can cook your food you have the ability to understand what's going to happen in the future these things are so impressively beautiful a lot of people sleep on that you could have been born as a gazelle and you would have had to fight like lions and like zebras and stuff like that in the african plains and fight for your territory or whatever because you know the gazelles got ops don't waste your fucking time on the shit that's not for you don't let useless nonsense irritate you i think the crux of the video and why people are so upset about this is because he's saying that don't waste don't waste time on things that are not made for you. And then that's the bigger issue is that he's saying that these things are not made for you. And then all the fat activists and a lot of people in general, like gay people and other people like that, whatever, um, even a black dude that we're gonna look at in a few minutes, right? Uh, is that they're they're saying that these things should be made for you. But it's just very interesting how people will say that. It, it's like the same scenario as like trying to force somebody to love you, trying to force somebody to like you. If these, people, if these people don't like you, if these people don't wanna cater to you, why would you, like, it's like going into a private business, right? And these people don't want to serve you and then you argue with them and go no i don't i want to be served i want to be served and they tell you to leave it's a private business they can tell you to leave it'd be the same thing if you came into a person's house and they told you to leave and you didn't leave why are you in my house dude i'm gonna call the cops you're gonna get arrested right it's like that why are you trying to convince people to cater to you it doesn't make any sense you cannot change society, but you can change your society within yourself. You can change the way you react within society. Society is so incredibly massive. The fact that these people think that they can make these big systemic issue changes, when in reality, most of these problems can be alleviated if you just chose to lose weight. <sighs> anyway, it's really interesting how this guy's getting canceled for this, but he did eventually apologize and it's really sad. I know social media has a big fucking mental illness of its own with contributing to people lacking perspective True. of what really fucking matters clothes not being in every single person's size is very very minute and a very minuscule thing compared to what else is going on in the world and compared to also the fact that you are literally dying from your obesity if you're so fat that you can no longer find clothes in your size 
That's an issue. And you know what? I know that it may be an issue in the sense you can't find clothes, but you got to look at the bigger issue here, okay? Take the take the wide take the take the little 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 binoculars off and open up your horizon a little bit, dude. You're dying. That's not good. You're so fat, you can't find clothes in regular retailers anymore. Wake up. You're too big. They're, you're way too big, matter of fact. If if this is an actual issue for you and you're focusing on the clothes, you got the wrong issue, okay? You're too fat to even operate in society at that level, if that's the case. Like, you're going to have major problems with basic things, like walking upstairs or even walking in general, being out of breath every five seconds. These things, if these things are normal to you, they shouldn't be. You should be able to try to, like, at least alleviate a lot of these problems. The fact that you're looking at it as, like, the retailer is the problem. Dude, whoa. Okay, whatever, bro. I get it. Like, it's, it's really, really awesome to never take accountability for yourself but eventually you're gonna hit a wall and then you're gonna be you're not gonna be able to get past that wall you understand you can only go so far off that body that's literally deteriorating every single day like you can't be walking around with like type 8 diabetes and like bricks moving through your veins consistently maybe go the fuck outside and you know what this guy's being really really nice about it and it's really interesting that he gets canceled for this dude because like i'm pretty sure i've heard many other people say almost exactly the same thing as this guy in a very more pejorative way and they didn't get canceled for it i don't know why this dude did and go experience some real touch contrast. grass yeah touch grass and see what other people are really dealing with and living with i see that a lot when it comes to like people uh in the dating market is like they don't understand it from the opposite side like some guys will approach women and go why didn't this girl like she never this girl never wants to give me a chance never give me a chance and i always think like dude that girl probably is approached like nine times a day you know she probably is devalued on a consistent basis based off her looks and she's always like being judged based off of those things like it's obvious like obviously this woman doesn't want anything to do with you you're a nobody in comparison to like all the other people that she's been talking to so it's like sometimes it is really good to at least get the other view or see where other people are coming from but you know the problem is like a lot of these people are caught in their own heads and they can't see it from any other aspect besides the systemic issues or retailers are fat phobic or sometimes even doctors are fat phobic and you might be a little more appreciative of your situation and the fact that you can go find other shit that does fit you and lose weight Brands are allowed to do what they want. I'm not saying they're right or wrong for discriminating. True. I think the same way. Like somebody asked me the other night and they said, what, what would you think about, uh, like, what do you think about like big, big companies making terrible, disgusting, really, really high calorie over processed foods, right? And my opinion on this is the same that I've had with like drugs or even cigarettes or alcohol. Leave it up to the consumer. Leave it up to the individual because I don't want these things to go away. Though I think these foods are atrocious and bad and terrible and they're really high, highly processed and they're high in calories and they're probably not doing very much good for you. I think ultimately I'd rather have them in the pool than not have them in the pool because I like Big Macs. I love QPs. I suck QPs, right? If you put a QP on your dick right now, I'm sucking that shit up. But you know what I'm talking about. Like, I want to have that as an option. I don't want it to just be taken away. People know that smoking cigarettes are bad. People know that abusing alcohol is bad. What do you see? People are doing it, okay? Just because something is not there anymore doesn't mean that people are not going to want to do it or seek it out in an illicit way. So... I personally think leave it up to the individual. The individual is king, right? Especially in these Western dominated countries. You are a person first and foremost. You are an individual. Use your individualism. If you don't like the particular product, don't buy it. And I know it's maybe easier said than done. I, I mean, personally speaking, I think it's probably a little bit easier to be honest. Just don't buy the shit, okay? If you don't want to buy an overprocessed food, don't buy it. In the same way that if you're concerned that these particular outlets don't have your clothing styles and your sizes, lose some weight. It's up to you. You can't be upset at everybody else when you can make your own decisions they're gonna do it you bitching about it is gonna do nothing period but ruin your emotional state period slay queen edges dude this guy's on a roll and your mental state that's what i want to protect you from i gotta be a little harsh with you because i love you true but get your fucking focus off the shit that ain't for you so you can find what is crazy that he got canceled for this because I don't know where people are pulling this out of their fucking ass that I'm fat phobic. Part of me so bad wants to make a joke. I'm like, I ain't scared of fat people. <laughs> it's I too. Uh, I can see why people might think he's fat phobic. But to be honest, dude, if people real deal said that he was fat phobic, people are way too sensitive, dude. That's, ins that's insane. These people are literally looking at it from a surface level, if that's the case. You don't deserve to like, have anything taken from you or like, face anything bad because you are overweight. But there are things and there are consequences to that. People sure. are not... Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. They're passing this whole fucking thing from the last I saw. I don't give a shit about like, people having to buy two plane seats. If I am someone that has to start, I fly first. <laughs> but if I was someone, like if I'm in a situation where like I exceed the size requirement and 
they tell me I have to buy two seats because of how big I am. I'm gonna just buy the seat and shut the fuck up. That's a consequence. True. I don't know why so many people like the you, the argument is like I understand it. Like you feel like you're being unfairly treated in the scenario of the fact that you need to buy two plane tickets because everybody else needs to buy just one. But you also are excluding the fact that you are not an ordinary human being. You are somebody so fat that you need to you need in order to take this plane ride, you need to buy two plane tickets. You are outside the normative value. You can't compare yourself to a normal person. And plus, you put yourself in a bracket of being so fat that you can no longer fit in a seat so in any case in scenario it's your fault you need to choose whether or not you want to be big or small and you're going to suffer the consequences of both it just so happens that if you're thinner you just have way more benefits in terms of societal structure of my action to work out and get bigger it is my choice to make myself bigger it doesn't matter if it's through working out or eating myself half to death it's true that's a fact dude it is oh man i cannot believe this guy got canceled for this how is this guy speaking so much factual statements and he got canceled for this dude how does this even happen this just gotta this just kind of goes to show you nowadays that you can literally get canceled for even saying the right thing and this guy is literally out here spitting facts factual statements and I, I guess we're just so deluded at this point as a society that people are actually taking offense to a man a big man a big juiced up man telling the truth and that's really fucking sad doesn't fucking matter that's a consequence this is reality babe true it's not about fair it's about what the fuck is going on like if there's a requirement if you exceed that for either one you exceed that take the consequence or don't fucking fly yeah, true. 100%. I mean, it's a factual statement. And about that whole, like, uh, it's not fair. Not many things are fair. And that's okay. Like, I know I've been in scenarios where, I don't know, somebody held the door open for a girl. Or maybe somebody got something before me. Or they got some better treatment because of this or whatever that reason is. That's okay. I mean, ultimately, it probably isn't the best. I, it, it, maybe it hurts you mentally. But, you know, why are you certain people can get certain things done to them or have certain things because of the way that they are, right? I've met plenty of pretty girls that get hello messages or you're so beautiful messages and I never got a single one, not even from like my best friends. And if I did get one from my best friends, it'd be like a backhanded compliment like, hey bro, um, you don't look that ugly today. It'd be like that, but that's okay because everything's relative. You don't know where that person's looking at. You don't know how their life's going. You know, the inside really counts a lot of times, but it doesn't matter. You shouldn't be focusing on what is and what is not fair. Focus on yourself, work on yourself. Um, Maybe you'll get better treated eventually or just work on yourself enough to where you could treat yourself betterly. You know what I mean? All right, to hit this properly, the ego- This is the, this is the uh, apology video, by the way. I always checked at the door. I got some shit to- You know what I mean? All right, to hit this properly, the ego is checked at the door. I got some shit to own up to. I deleted the video because it does the opposite of what I want to do. It made a lot of people feel unsafe with me and that's the last thing that I want. So this is not going to be a sometimes you need to you need to get rid of those people man it, it, like if i'm going to be honest with you dude if you had people in your community that were actually upset with you for what you said that is a crazy thing to happen i there's no other way to say it than you probably don't want those people in your community to begin with these people are intolerant they they if they saw it any other way than this guy saying some factual stuff though it may be a little bit derogatory and like a certain degree you should focus on the message rather than the words themselves like this guy is coming from a very genuine point of view and granted he maybe could have said it in a better way and i'm struggling to even say that because he was pretty nuanced on that and he was pretty on the point on a lot of it so I guess maybe there's room for a little bit of improvement, but like, I can't even say that. If you had these people in your community, it probably is a good idea that they annex themselves from it. A sappy apology like, you can't always get everybody to be safe. It's impossible to do that. Like if you're coming to a particular community, and you say something that may be a little bit offensive to a particular person, that's all right. Like, it's all right. You just be yourself as much as you possibly can. It's like, if you try to, I know that there are particular game studios and things like that that try to cater to everybody. If you cater to everybody, then the game sucks dick. And everybody knows this shit. It's the same thing with movies, TV shows, things like that. If you try to make the TV show for everybody, ultimately you make it for nobody because you're catering to so many people all at once that the TV show, the movie, whatever you're making suffers. So instead of doing that, do what you think is right and then hopefully people respond to that because at least your morals are not impaired. Video and be manipulative to try and win anybody over. This all made me realize the time in my life when I was overweight actually does trigger the fuck out of me. And it's not the body and the way that I looked that triggered me. It's the painful mindset I was stuck in that I do not want to be reminded of. My whole childhood and early adulthood, I felt very trapped and powerless in a body and a mind that I hated. It wasn't my physical appearance, I thought it was. It was really feeling like I had no control over my life and what that perception did to me. 
And now whenever I feel powerless, I say jarring shit to my- He didn't say anything jarring at all, and I see where he's coming from. He has to say this in order to recoup whatever losses that he has, and it's really sad to say that, because he should just roll with the punches, man. It's, you know, maybe I'm not, maybe it's like the outside looking in. I can't even imagine what he's going through. He's probably experiencing tons and tons of hate. A lot of people don't realize if this guy, obviously, he's a big creator, right? If- <laughs> If you are, I don't know, receiving a whole bunch of love or whatever, and then one day out of nowhere, you're probably getting hate mail. People are probably telling you to do terrible things to yourself, and they're probably, like, you know, threatening you and things like that. It's probably really, really jarring because, like, here's the thing. You might be thinking it's probably one or two people. No, it's probably, like, hundreds or thousands, perhaps. And that's all happening in one day? Yeah, dude, it's probably a lot to deal with. The guy probably isn't sleeping. The guy probably is going through mental distress. It's probably crazy for him. Or maybe he's handling it well. But that's usually what people do, right? It's, it's really hard for a lot of people to process that all at once. It is very, very, very... Um, uncanny but what I'm getting from this right is that this guy is trying to at least mitigate the losses gonna make it very personal to try to see like so people dude just in my opinion just say fuck it like you didn't say anything wrong it is what it is you said something that was maybe insensitive to a, a group of people fuck them it is what it is okay these people you you said what you said you okay you might have been able to say it a little you you were very generous if I'm gonna be honest with you super ridiculously omega level generous on the senses of like if you're fat you should look other places and things that you wouldn't but you should have just told them straight out if you're fat and you want to shop at a retailer lose some weight so you can shop at the retailer I don't know else to say it than that it's like complaining that you can't get on a ride that's only for people under a certain weight category and then you're complaining that the, the ride isn't big enough for you lose some weight and then you'll get on the ride the same way that if you want clothes that these particular retailers then you're gonna have to lose some weight to do that there's no other way to say it than that you are ultimately in charge of your life there are very few people on this planet okay sure there are people with disabilities i always at the preferences right it's really crazy that generally speaking i have to like preferences but there are people out there that can't lose weight sure but like most people it's within their power it's in their within their grasp okay and if you don't think it is you're wrong there is no other way to say it than that you could choose better out you can choose better opportunities and, and and food choices and things such and so forth so this guy was being very genuine in that video myself to snap me out of an old mentality and look for empowerment but me sharing that in the fucked up way that i did wasn't fucked up this guy I, <laughs> watch go back and watch the video he was not being fucked up was to help a lot of you and it ended up hurting a lot more of you instead because you feel like i judge you for the way that you look there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. If you're, you, it's okay to judge people based off the way you look. You have a wife. You have people in your family that you judge based off. Like we have entire industries based off of judging people the way they look. Bodybuilding, modeling. These things are all super imperative. Like I know that a lot of people might think, oh no, we only want the really, really tough jobs. Like people working on buildings, people working on structures and houses and building economic structures. No, nah, the other stuff is good too. Like art and you know people modeling people. Even though I shit on modeling a lot because I think it's pretty. You know everybody does. Everybody does it nowadays. These particular areas are super 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 important to us right i mean there's points in our in society where we had to work outside and we had to build buildings and things and all this stuff but now we reach the point where we other people can do other stuff and i think you should if that's what you want to do it's awesome we have opportunities like that so this guy wasn't being an asshole i i really don't think that he was saying you anything crazy ended up hurting a lot more of you instead because you feel like i judge you for the way that you look and it also made a lot of people feel like i was judging them for wanting to feel included that's not what I stand for at all. It just depends on what you mean by wanting to feel included. Like, it's nothing wrong with be wanting to feel included. Certain things are just not going to be included for you. Like, I want to be an NBA star. I cannot because I am not six foot four and I don't have the muscle density of a, you know, LeBron James or whoever else is playing in the NBA. I don't know. I don't watch NBA. But the point I'm making is sometimes there are certain things just man, not made for you or certain things that you're just not capable of doing. And that's okay because you can specialize on the things that are made for you or the things that you are good at. I never want anyone to feel uncomfortable or unsafe around me, ever. But yeah, that's never going to happen. And if you do want that, then this is the wrong... <sighs> he's... <sighs> he's trying to he's trying to yes queen people right now, dude. This is like the worst way of doing it. There is nothing wrong with offending people because people are going to be offended regardless of what you say. So you shouldn't be trying to prioritize everyone's feelings because like I said before, if you try to appease everyone, you appease no one because ultimately you cannot. It's impossible. Somebody somewhere, somewhere will be offended by what you say. You can say something as simple as, I believe children should have food and somebody will come out of nowhere and go, that's fucking gross. Children having food is disgusting. There are people out there like that. And the point I'm making is obviously it's in a very extreme scenario, but the point I'm making is here, it doesn't matter what you say. You're going to offend somebody somewhere, sometime, somewhere. The way that I said things in that video made a lot of you feel disempowered and criticized instead of feeling like I was looking out for you. 
And that's always- You were looking out for them though. I don't care what people feel. My actual intent and that don't sit right with me. So the video has gone, but not finding- my But that doesn't mean anything. Like the message still stands. There's a reason why it blew up the way that it did. My size and things is something I deal with daily. I'm six foot seven and a size 16 shoe. Woo, hubba hubba dude. The ideal man, you know what I'm talking about? Clothes are a pain in the ass. Shoes rarely ever find. Bags, the strap rarely long enough. Doesn't fit over my body, but that's a situation for me that makes me feel very powerless is when my size is not made. And like I said, I say triggering shit to myself to look for the control I do have when I'm looking at things that make me feel disempowered. And when a brand doesn't make my size, I look at it like saying fuck them versus giving them my attention and begging them to include me or bullying them to include me. It's 2024. I hate it when anybody ever says that, dude, as if it means anything at all. People always like to throw out the number as if it's like a, a major indicator of anything significant. Them to include me or bullying them to include me. It's 2024. These brands know that people come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. They're aware. They're choosing not to make certain things. Yep. Either it's a financial decision or it's an attempt to actually exclude you. But my personal relationship to that is feeling disempowered and not giving any of my attention to it. True. But not everybody has my same relationship to this scenario or the same. And those people are going to have problems for the majority of their lives. I mean, if you're talking about the people that are on, on TikTok or other social media platforms that consistently spend years and years and decades even of their time complaining at these big corporations and companies for not making plus size clothing. And even when they do, these people still critique them because guess what? The clothes don't fit them properly or they're not very good looking clothes or they're just not including too many people. It's always something. It's never enough for these people. And don't get me wrong, things could be better. Things could always be improved. But to the degree at which these people want it to be improved is ridiculous, uncanny. It's impossible. A lot of these people want unrealistic things. And like I said before, financial restrictions, the way your body is shaped, just in general, the way the fact that you can actually do something to approve yourself and like everyone around you. Why is it always somebody else? In relationship to feeling powerless and I don't like that my shit made a lot of people feel hurt. That's it is what it is, man. I don't know what else to say than that. Like, <sighs> you put it out, you said something true, people got offended, and you backtracked. That's my thing to deal with. Everybody is allowed to freely speak their mind. True. Shouldn't have said that because. Sure, bro. All right, man. He feel all right, whatever. I don't know if this comes from a genuine point of I feel bad or he's just sorry like you know that famous rihanna quote the quote where she says don't tell me you're sorry because you're not baby i know you're only sorry you got caught oh right it's like that it's like i understand you're probably feeling a whole bunch of ways maybe you think this is going to mitigate you honestly speaking should have just doubled down i would have just doubled down dude i mean maybe i don't maybe i wouldn't double down i'm, I'm speaking from the outside in i'm not sitting in his shoes right now he's big size 13 what do you say size 16 size 16 shoes oh man wow oh, those are kind of big dude what else is big besides the stature of course but uh you know looking from the outside in dude i don't think this is going to appease anybody these people that you're trying to appease right now are literally eating themselves it's an oral boros these people can never appease themselves let alone to the community so i don't even know if it's a good idea to even like say anything good about them because i was doing it in that video but the thing i should have communicated better was i find my power in absence so i'm not going to give attention to the brands who don't cater to me it's always better also also in general to like find more value in absence like let me tell you something right if you want to make a point let's say for instance you're dating somebody this is like toxic behavior 101 i'm gonna keep it a buck with you don't do this if you're not a, like a bad person you don't want to manipulate people okay if you think that if you have an argument with somebody and you think arguing with them is the better move, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Not doing anything at all or leaving the situation is always going to make it worse. It's always going to make it worse. And I know because I'm like an expert at leaving situations at the worst period in time, right? I have an actual issue with doing this, right? I don't even do it on purpose. But I know that when you – when that other person wants to talk about something and you leave, that is not a good thing, okay? And this comes with like almost any scenario in life. It's never – like it's always worse to do that. But sometimes people just don't have a choice in the matter. Like I know I don't. Um, I just kind of find myself in situations so, like, I know you're not trying to like actually have a conversation with me. This is not practical. You're literally being disingenuous. I can't have this conversation with you. I need to leave. And uh, that's going to make the other person really mad. But sometimes you need to do it. I'm going to go find the brands and focus on the ones that do or make my own stuff when I can. With all this being said, my aversion to powerlessness and my own relationship to it and my poor communication of that made a lot of you think that I have an aversion to you because of the way that you look.
and I want to make sure everyone knows that is 100% not true. I actually do want to say thank you to everyone who voiced their opinion and told me how hurt you were by this because it really made me reflect. When people say I'm hurt, that's my wake up call. Why? Why does it matter? People are really, really weird nowadays when it comes to I'm hurt. Somebody could say I'm hurt because you said, oh, your nails are, you know, oh, wow, your nails look pretty good today. Well, why aren't they the best? Why aren't they the most practical? Why aren't they not the most beautiful? People get offended by things all the time, okay? It's not practical to, like, focus on the fact that people are saying things. Like, it's okay if there's value in it, sure. Like, I'm not saying he shouldn't reflect on this. He should. But simultaneously, what does it matter? Dude, you said something factual. Reflect on the fact that you said things that were real, that were grounded, things that were actually centered, okay? Like, none of the shit that you said was baffling or crazy in any particular type of way. If somebody got offended by that, that's their fault. Now, those people are delusional. Of like, you did something, because that's never my intent. So instead of sitting here and saying, I'm sorry. It shouldn't be the intent to offend somebody, but it should be the intent to tell the truth. And if you offend somebody as a byproduct of that, it shouldn't really matter. Because ultimately, if you're telling the truth, uh, the truth that offends other people shouldn't really matter. Because those are just words, and they don't do anything for anybody. No, words do a lot. That is a crazy ass statement. No, um, no. No, that is like the most wrong statement ever. Words do a lot. Like I know the statement of sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt me to a certain degree. Some people have very much power in comparison to other people saying the same thing. Like I'll give you a very good example. If you're Alex Jones and you're telling people certain things, like they're turning the freaking frogs gay, right? That thing, you tell everybody that if you, I don't know, drink the water out of your faucet, then you're gonna turn gay. Um, and you have an audience and people that actually believe you, like a, a diehard audience that are gonna take everything that you say and believe it, words matter, okay? So like for certain people more than others, obviously, and not all information is good information. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes even asking questions could be a bad thing to in general, right? And don't get me wrong, I'm not one of these people that wants to question freedom of speech. I love freedom of speech, but I'll give you an example of why even questioning something could be wrong. So if you were sitting there and you said, hmm, I wonder, like, do we even really know how many Jews got killed in, in the Holocaust? Yes, we do know how many Jews got killed in the Holocaust. There's videos, there's evidence, there's tons of Google searches that you could do. Asking that question infers that you're even questioning the legitimacy of the deaths that were happening in the Holocaust. You understand? So even sometimes, because like most of these people come off as distant genuous okay so sometimes when you ask questions it could be very bad um you're leading people on you're saying things in the same way that for instance if you say something that is objectively not true and you have a whole bunch of audience members that believe you outright you can cause a lot of problem a lot of terror so that's a reason why people can get tried based off the things that they say because certain people have a little bit more leeway on things compared to other people if that makes any sense so um i'm not one of these people that sits there and goes like, oh, I'm just, you know, like, it is what it is. Like, I'd say whatever I want. It shouldn't really mean anything. No, that's not how it works, dude. If you say something, it does have value. So, I mean, I see what he's trying to say here. He's trying to mitigate the fact that he said something that was a little bit insensitive and he's trying to take away the blame from himself. I understand it. I do. I get it. But it's not the right, it's not the way to say like, oh, but words don't really mean anything. Our entire society binges on the fact that we do have words to expel and have the ability to communicate these things accurately. Instead of sitting here and saying, I'm sorry, because those are just words and they don't do anything for anybody. I'm gonna give you my word that I'm gonna to continue to do any work necessary to make sure that you always know and feel that I'm looking out for you terrible. and I'm here to protect you. Terrible. It's not a good, it's not a good, no, no. Uh, terrible, terrible in my opinion. Um, let, me know what you go, let me know what you guys think down below. But we're gonna get into the response videos because they're, because they're really good. They're really good. It's gonna be awesome to watch. You guys ready for it? Here we go. Leo Scuffy is a prime example of why you do not allow people with no talent to become famous and have large platforms. Let's wake it up. Y'all make people famous who do not speak out about anything important. Don't go to protests, don't speak up on good causes, don't speak out about literal wars going on. I don't know. This is like one of the worst takes I've ever heard in my life. Just because you have a following doesn't mean you're obligated to talk about certain subjects or other things that maybe are outside your realm of expertise. Like, what if you just have a YouTube channel dedicated to just, I don't know, having sex with Chef Boyardee cans and telling the results to people? Are you still entitled to talk about the war on Palestine or what's happening in the Ukraine? I don't know, probably not, maybe not, if that's not what you wanna do. It's not just because you have a particular audience that you have to talk on things. If you don't wanna talk on stuff, you don't have to talk on stuff. Don't feel like you're obligated to talk on something because you have any type of following. And by the way, does that only apply to protests? Does that only apply to things that you find valuable? What if there are things that I find valuable that I wanna talk on, but you don't find valuable that you wanna talk on? Do you understand? So it's, like, it's very interesting when these people say this shit because it doesn't even make sense in the general perspective.
And then y'all are confused when they start saying stupid shit. And this is truly nobody's fault, but... It, I, I, as this person said stupid shit. I, you know, it's... Oh, man. That's, oh, I love it. I love the internet so heavily, dude. The fact that people can literally just say something and immediately contradict themselves right away. It is, but time and time again, we blow these people up and do not do the correct background checks to see what they really stand for. What do you mean the correct background checks, dude? You think that people are born with Wik Wikipedia pages? And who they are. <laughs> I mean, let's be real. This was a person that was willingly happy to promote steroids on their TikTok time and time again. Okay, listen, dude. I can't I can't either. It just really – I don't know anything about this personally, but it, it just really comes down to are you responsible? Can you do it legitimately? Are you getting a prescription? Who am I to tell you what you can and cannot do? People drink. People smoke. People do things that are terrible. I have no opinion on that as long as you're doing whatever you're doing responsibly, and I hope that you're doing it responsibly. Ultimately, it is your body. You know, I'm a big component. I'm a big person. For prostitution, I think that it should be legal. This is like my thing. I think it's like it should, should be like it is in the UK. If you want to tax it, US government style, go ahead. Like, y'all. Pro sex worker, too. The noggins, let's turn them on. Mm -hmm. it's like The amount of entitlement as well this person is like bestowing, talking from a place of superiority when in reality, I feel like this person, well, we'll see. Every time a white person comes on this. Listen, dude, I'm already, listen, okay? I don't, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, dude. <sighs> It's, it's striking me a little bit off the fact that you brought up white person i'm gonna give it a buck with you i don't know if that's why that's relevant to the situation at all i hope that you have a pretty good explanation uh, maybe it stems into something racist or something like that but it's uh, pretty pretty weird that you bring up white guy the noggins let's turn them on mm -hmm. and again like you can't you just sat there and said that oh people say things that are dumb all the time we shouldn't be giving them clout okay mm -hmm. it's like every time a white person comes on this app and says some really dumb Y'all want black women and black people to come make videos as to why it's wrong and give. Is that strictly only for white people? I didn't know that white people held the monopoly on saying things that were crazy. I did not know that. Uh, but apparently we were. I mean, maybe we're just special in some way, I guess. I don't know. I don't believe that, but I guess this person does. And I guess black people have to have the monopoly on talking about these things because they have some type of. I don't know. What is it? Is it the melanin that gives them the ability to talk about things in some way? What is it? I don't know. Give you the information as to why it's wrong. Google is free. Google is free. Oh, that is interesting. That is true. Google is free. You can read a book. I personally just think it's a little irresponsible to be following all these people on this app and not really know what they stand for. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense, dude. Uh, you're never going to know exactly who the person is on the other end. Like, for instance, me, right? I know for a fact, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a terrible person in certain scenarios, right? I'm not very good at communicating. I know that I'm pretty good here, like, talking and things like that. But I know when I'm in relationships, it might be a little bit tough to communicate with me. I'm caught in my ways. I like to do things when I want to do things. And I, I don't like to, like, compromise certain times. Like, I try my best and I do things that are obviously not unoptimal. And maybe I'm a little bit selfish with my time and things such and so forth, right? We all have things about ourselves that are not the most optimal mole right but it's okay because you don't have to bestow people with those things right if you're just a guy or you're just somebody that wants to make videos on like i don't know lego sets or you want to do a do you want to have a whole instagram page of of you having sex with pizzas like don't feel like you have to bestow upon everybody the deep details about your backstory or understand like where you're from and how you grew up in that one time and like i don't know like you came out of the opera house and a guy came over and shot your mom and dad and now you're batman like it's just like what are you talking about nobody's gonna know that stuff nobody knows anything about you either dude i'm sure there are plenty of things about you that a lot of people wouldn't like that you're not telling people anyway and again, why does it have to do with white people? Too many instances of people blowing up on this app who don't have much talent, and then they say some really off-the-wall shit and get canceled. If we just did the research before, we wouldn't get to this point. I really hope this is not the whole video, because this video is literally speaking nothing. Absolutely nothing. There is no value in this video at all. Coming from somebody that is so entitled to call out somebody else on actually saying factual statements, because they're white, I guess. I'm just offering another perspective to this whole situation. There is no perspective. You said nothing in this video. You just said that this person is white and they said something that you thought was offensive and that somehow you think that because you're black that you have the ability to talk on it or people think that you have the ability to talk on it and you're also speaking from a place of superiority while claiming things that don't even make sense because you're literally contradicting yourself in your own video. And I'm not speaking on this again. There will be another white person who gets canceled again what about black people do they, do they like black dudes like asian guys do they get canceled too no okay and then it'll be another one and then another one it's a common thread here y'all Ooh, yeah stop said nothing said nothing that person was literally 
valueless on this particular topic. Ditching that Leo Skeppy video. Not because I don't want to hear your take. Girl, I do. But because he is making money from all the engagement and traffic that you are directing right to his video and you're not if you're stitching it. If you're in the creativity program and you're, you stitch a video, the stitch is not monetizable. So every time you stitch, what you should do is go to your app, download that stitch video before you post, re-upload it, and then post it. That's I a really interesting take. Sure, I mean, if you want to make money off of it. But isn't the statement more important than the money that you make off of it? No, yes, I get whatever. I mean, whatever you want to do. I have done this a bunch of times, and those stitches still get just as much engagement. Everybody's seen that video now. So if you're going to stitch it, do yourself a favor, girl, and make yourself money, not just him. Leo Skeppy, if he is engagement farming right now, he is doing a great job. His farm is fertile and flowing. Sure, but that, like, oftentimes when people say these controversial statements, what you tend to see is like it's like the Andrew Tate effect, right? Where people have they go on these like all these podcasts, their name gets out there, everybody knows who Andrew Tate is. But what happens is like you get this like giant like for instance, like you have this like constant chart of people finding out who you are, but then out of nowhere you get this big publicity where it goes like this, right? It goes all the way up, like the Andrew Tate effect, right? It goes all the way up. And then maybe it starts to even out a little bit because eventually all the people that are gonna know about you know about you, and then it goes like this. And then sure, you get a little bit more engagement. Sure, you get a little bit more whatever. But like the people at the very top, they never liked you to begin with. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? Like they, 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 you're, you're ultimately, you just got this giant boost, but then you don't have like the catalog. You don't have like, you, you don't have like the ability to work through this type of thing. You lose a lot of people that actually would like you. So it's oftentimes, I don't think it's a good thing. Like Andrew Tate, even though a lot of people know who he is, nobody fucks with him. He's probably made hundreds of dollars off that video already, which is really upsetting. And all the people who stitch it, who are making amazing points and being really kind and really awesome and advocating for plus size people, they are not because their videos are stitches and all they do is direct people to go watch Leo's full video. Get your bag, get your bag. And don't just give Leo his, that's all. This I mean, it's not the worst point. I'm gonna keep it a buck. It's all right to say. Oh, Leo Skeppy thing. Basically, he just said, shut up and get on that treadmill if you wanna be included. True. If you wanna walk, get on the treadmill. If you wanna be a healthy, mon you wanna be a healthy person on the internet, you wanna be able to walk, run, do all these other things, buy clothes. Should, you should be active. You should be getting your diet in check. Which is genuinely so high school behavior. I don't know what you mean by high school behavior. If you're telling me telling the truth is high school behavior, that's a really interesting way of taking it. And also, that's a very, very, very general way of saying what he said. Because he had a whole three-minute video dedicated to the fact that people that were entitled enough to think that clothing companies had to bestow upon the rest of society the beauty and the elegance of clothing that look good to them. And then he said, that's not practical. And then you said... He's telling you to get on the treadmill. I mean, sure, he kind of said that, but not really. And him having friends who are- By the way, listen, if you want to put, if you want to put these like, what are these called? Captions, right? You want to put these captions on your video, not having them in the middle of your face is probably not the best. I don't know, maybe down here, maybe up here on your fucking head, not the best. Are plus size or who were plus size. And he had the gall to go, well, Move on. I don't think it should matter whether or not you had plus size friends or not. Like if you're sitting here and you have some truth to tell and you have friends that are, uh, I guess, maybe within that group that you're disposing, why do you think that should mean anything? Do you think that his friends don't think that same way? That's such an interesting way of thinking about it. That's like somebody saying something like, <laughs> that's like somebody going like all black people think the same because they're black. Do you think that? Do you think that? You don't think that like black people, like you think they're all hive minds? You don't think they have like unique opinions in the same way that for instance, fat people have unique opinions. They just so happen to be fat. Okay, interesting. That's a very interesting way of saying that. I mean, maybe I'm reading into it a little bit further. Maybe I'm reading into it a little bit too much, but that's ultimately what this person is saying. Like, oh, you had friends that were plus size and you still said that. So what does that have to do with anything? What? That'd be like me having friends that own cake shops and I say I fucking cakes are ass and I only, the only, the only reason I buy cakes is to sit on them and fart. Like, that's, does that mean that I hate that guy that made the cakes or? No, that's not what I'm, no, I just don't like cakes, okay? Like, this is something that people deal with on a daily basis, not so. just women, men as well. So. If I want to talk about a multi-million dollar designer company not being inclusive, I will because they don't care about me. Yeah, you sure can. Go ahead, talk about it. But, like, I think the point of the video that the guy was saying is that it's irrelevant. Like, you're talking about things that are 
literally doing nothing, which is fine if you want to do that. I mean, there are plenty of things that people do that are accomplishing nothing at all. Like I know that I like sometimes to sit here and scroll through my phone for 45 minutes through YouTube shorts. And that's obviously not accomplishing anything. And there are plenty of other things that I sure do that are, you know, sometimes I go in the shower and I just take a, sh take a shower for like, I don't know, like 30 minutes and just put my head down and have the water caress off my body. And it's very delicate and beautiful for me. But of course, it's not doing anything for me. But that's fine. You can do that. But it's like you're doing it publicly. You understand? Like these things are not doing anything for you. But hey, man, maybe you're getting some reach and some engagement. Sure. Maybe. I don't know, man. And I mean, they don't really care about you. So you backing them up this much is absolutely. No, they're not. He's not backing them up. He's just, man, that's really crazy. I feel like these people are incapable of a critical thought. He's <laughs> stop backing them up. What he's saying is that if this shit doesn't appease you, if this shit's not for you, why are you even burdening yourself with the thought of it? That's like somebody being 500 pounds and trying to buy a motorcycle and no motorcycles are going to accompany a man that's 500 pounds because you can't even get off the bed to begin with. And then you go, why are you defending the motorcycles? I'm not defending the motorcycles. I'm literally just talking about the fact that no motorcycles are going to fit you. You understand? Like, what are you talking about? He's not defending the companies. Maybe like in a weird, inadvertent way, in the same way that if you go like to the grocery store and buy a vegan food and the money that you put towards the vegan food will eventually shuffle back through to the vegan vegan company that makes food from meat products like sure you're inadvertently somewhere somehow supporting meat company somewhere because you spent money on a tofu product that buy from a company that like has a distributor from this distributor that distributor that makes meat products like sure but simultaneously it's like who the fuck thinks like that nobody thinks like that Bonker. And the, you know what's crazy is the fact that I even have to go through that line of like logic to even try to see where these people are even getting theirs from is insane There's but what do I know? All I know is... <laughs> what do I know? All I know is... Bonkers. But what do I know? You didn't even say All anything. All I know is... This is high school behavior, bruh. Dude, you just said this is high school behavior and your own logic didn't even make sense. But, you know, GG, bro. Slay Queen Edges. And telling people to shut up and get on the treadmill if you want to be included. You didn't say that, but cool. It is crazy. All right. Hey, man. That's up to you. That's your opinion, man. That's like your opinion, man. Um, if you think that's crazy, then you got a lot of problems. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. All the Leo Skippy videos suck. I will say the situation has kind of been amazing. Just because of the sheer amount of people I have seen speaking out in support of like plus size people. Someone who's been talking about fat issues and fat politics for years. I do think this is the first time I have seen this sheer amount of like people, specifically non-fat people, like standing up in support of like fat people and like uh, doing it in a way that like it shows such a deep understanding of like the actual fat liberation. How does it feel knowing that the people that are standing up for this fat, this Leo video that you're claiming are literally delusional? Like these people are defending something that a guy said that was literally factual. Do you feel good knowing that you probably have literally mentally disabled people? And I'm sorry, maybe it's not mentally disabled people. Maybe these people are just lacking logic, nuance, life experience. I don't know, common sense. Sure, there are plenty of things that these people can be blocking. They, they may not be mentally disabled, but... I mean, maybe, I don't know. There's there's a lot of mentally disabled people nowadays. I don't know. But the spew of logic lines that you guys have to go through to even justify your opinions have absolutely no bearing in reality at all. And the fact that you have to make a video saying like, oh, it's, it's actually a good thing that this is happening because people are now like, it's like spewing up all the trendiness of being fat acceptance. Dude, fine. Great. I'm happy for your organization. You guys literally are awesome because I hear your points and I go, this is baffling to me. And I like making videos on you guys. So this is a benefit for me too, so movement you know and it's been really easy to feel like discouraged and upset but just because of like you know the, the sheer amount of fat phobia that has been kind of circulating now online thin is in heroin chic ozempe recently there's just been so many anti-fat conversations happening it has definitely been like a, a very like jarring time to be a fat person and honestly just the way that i've seen so many people like come out and say something has been so touching and encouraging to see and just because people are saying things that agree with you doesn't mean it's a good thing you understand in the, in the same way that somebody like you could not like somebody and that person dies and then you think this is great but then that person was like a philanthropist and they were giving millions and millions and millions of dollars and they were a net good to the universe and but you thought it was good you know you thought it was good and then i'm sure that you probably have your reasons for thinking that but that doesn't mean necessarily that whatever that was whatever is being said to right now is actually good but it's fine i'm sure you know everything is within you know within their their particular context you know everything's relative sure but it's just i mean it's a little crazy and so i just want to say like thank you thank you to everyone you're welcome
one who like spoke out and kind of reiterated the fact that fat people do deserve kindness and decency. And, yeah, like, but that's really funny that you're saying that given the fact that that guy didn't say anything like that. It's right. I don't know why these people are fighting like Patrick Swayze right now and Ghost. Like you guys are literally coming up with argument points to fight against that don't even exist right now. Did you not watch the video? Huh. Okay. To be treated like people. Talking about celebration can often feel like I'm screaming at a brick wall. Yeah, because you're fighting yourself. There's literally no one else in the room. It's just you screaming at a wall and other people around you that are also looking at that wall or screaming at that wall and the echoing from that particular statement are shuffling back into your ear and you're going, yes, this makes sense. You're literally having conversations with yourself. And it's really felt like, you know, things have been going backwards for some time. But to see this many people talk about it just proves that, like, we're not starting from scratch. An impact has been made. And, like, just because, you know, the trends may change, that groundwork has been set. And, like, the good, decent people are, like, there and in our corner. And, I don't know. It was that corner's getting pretty, pretty tight, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it were me and you, and me and you, I'm saying, if we were in that corner, we could probably fit, like, 10, 15 people in there. For them, it's, like, three. Just, it really did. I'm, thank you. Like, it has made me very happy. So, I don't know much about Leo Schipolini. I don't know what his name is, but what I do know is that fat phobia is so intense and any system of oppression or system. If you think that what that guy Leo said was fat phobia, you have some, there's some problems there. There are some issues. There's, there are big issues, but you know what? To be honest, that might be the least of your worries, given the fact that you thought that what he said was fat phobia. So you probably believe a whole bunch of other things. Of power operates under these four specific eyes. And what Leo did is specifically blame an individual for an institutional problem. There's no other way to say it than this. If you're blaming of being not being able to find clothes or not being able to fit in chairs or not being able to find particular types of toilet seats that accompany your butt cheeks and things such and so forth. And that is all based off of the, the idea of you being so overweight that these things are weighed out now because you're so fat. These things are not practical for you, right? If you're working under the assumption that that is somehow systemic or institutional, you have an issue, okay? This person's a teacher, okay? I don't know of what. I will struggle to believe whatever it is, but it's very easy for people to bestow upon everyone else their responsibilities, seed those things onto everybody else, including, I guess, big companies, institutions, so social, social entire, like, areas of society but ultimately it is up to you if you're so fat that you can't fit in clothes if you're so fat you can't buy one seat anymore you need to buy two if you're so fat you can't properly have a bowel movement because the seat itself is literally so massive that your gut is hanging off the side of it i don't know how else to say this other than you're it's you you're in denial you need to at least realize or fess up to the fact that you are the one ultimately that needs to make the decision to better themselves to be able to put themselves in a position to where they can make i don't know be better in physical like i I don't know how else to say this. You cannot change society. It's, it'd be like the equivalent of like going a guy having no money, absolutely no money to his name, broke, poor, has a wife, has a kid coming on the way, mortgages due, credit card loans, all this stuff, right? And he goes up to you and he says, listen, I need a way to make money. I need to make money now. What can I do? What can I do? I'm, I'm broke. I'm broke. And you go, we need to go to the government. We need to picket fence it. We need to go, this is ridiculous. We need a basic income. We need this and that. And then after maybe like 10 years, then maybe that's going to come true. Or what you can actually do is actually go to college and take out probably like, I don't know, $100,000 in loans and do this and this and this and this. And then at the end of that, like five or six years, then you'll be able to get a job where it makes more money. And then that guy's going to go, yeah, but I need the money right now. Like, I, I, what are you talking about? I need the money right now in order to actually be able to support my family. Going to college, taking out more loans, and then eventually getting a job in five years is not going to actually benefit me right now. In the same way that if you're fat and you can't fit in clothes right now, and you're not able to fit in a chair, or you're not able to put your post yourself properly on a toilet seat, telling somebody that it's a systemic, telling somebody that's an institutional problem is going to do fucking nothing for them. They are stuck in the endless cycle, the endless cycle of never doing anything to to improve their life because you keep telling them that it's institutional. You keep telling them that, that it, it's not their problem. They're never going to fix the problem. There has to be a better way. We can't we can't give them any type of responsibility. It's not up to them in any way. Are you serious? What is wrong with you? Say the correct thing. Let that person know the truth. It is up to you to dis it's very easy to lose weight instead of going to big companies, going to the government and advocating for these things that could potentially take years and years and years of time to even get something, something at the bare minimum to these people. And you think that that's the better outcome than telling somebody to lose weight? What is wrong with you? First of all, clothing, Yeah. the clothing industry, clothes, 
I really wish these people would talk a little bit faster. It is so incredibly jarring hearing these people like stumble on, stumble on, stumble on, taking a breath in between every other, any, every other, every other word. Basic need in many ways. And also they are built to fit the people in society. And so fat people, disabled people, people of all different sizes, okay. shapes, configurations, etc. Got to add the disabled in there just to, you know, just to get the value up a little bit all deserve to wear clothes by simply existing within a society where a clothing industry exists. Sure, I agree. I think people should be able to wear clothes and should be able to buy the clothes that they want. But the problem is that a lot of the times, and when you say that stuff, you're literally not looking at the fact that you guys are so far out of the beaten path of normality that you're asking for something that is ridiculous. When we believe that companies do not deserve to be criticized. They're not saying that they don't deserve to be criticized with it. Man, oh my God. It's like none of these people actually watched the video and they didn't actually hear what the guy said. It's so crazy. All I had to do was watch it one time and I did only watch it one time. I watched it with you guys and I understood perfectly what his message was. It's not that they shouldn't be criticized. It's that you should accept the reality of your situation and do something about it instead of complaining for years and years and years about something that will ultimately never change. My God, my God, is that fat going anywhere else? Like, is it is it clouding your brain? Something you have like eight, nine, ten layers of extra fat on your brain. What is up? What is going on? Why are you guys so flawed mentally? Eyes for not offering things to the masses. That's a bad choice of words. That's a real bad choice of words. To the masses, not deserve to be criticized for not offering things to the masses or to everyone. We are really letting fascism win. Man, this woman and fascism are crazy, bro. I don't know if she doesn't understand. I maybe she doesn't know what the word fascism means, but she just throws this word around religiously. In many ways. We are basically saying, humans, individuals, why should we care about them? Let's Dude, that is actually insane, given the fact that he's literally saying individuals first, as opposed to if you're fat, it's not a good idea to go up to the... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't believe these people, bro my bad i was about to go back through and explain how this i'm sorry this woman might be actually dumb uh, th there's no other way to say it than that care about the companies let's care about the million to billion dollar clothing companies who are making so much money enough money to make clothing in a variety how of do you know that you can't you cannot know that that is ridiculous to know what are you talking about? And even if they could, is it practical? Like these people are just like literally sitting there going, me, 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 me. And if you don't do this for me, then you're just bad. And we should have a big organization against you guys. What are you guys talking about? You guys can never look in the mirror and think that maybe it's something to do with you? I got just like, sizes, but just refuse to because of exclusivity and anti-fat bias. It's always anti-fat bias. These people literally will go into the doctor's office and the doctor will go, listen, um, your joint pains, ah, yes, you're 500 pounds. I mean, I mean, it would be kind of impractical to think that you wouldn't have joint pains at this problem. And then you, that person will go, that's fat phobia. You guys can clearly not think. It's not in your best interest to think properly. Yes. Let's protect them over- Nobody is protecting, my God. Did you not watch the video? The individuals in this society. <sighs> You guys are literally the exception. You are not the norm. You guys have literally weighed yourself out of normal society and you are reaping the benefits of that. I mean, maybe benefits, not the right word, but you understand. You are seeing the error of your ways. And then when somebody brings you and tells you the truth, you just don't seem to like it. And that's fine. You can not like something, but the way that you're going, man, I would really love to talk to any of these people because the the language that they use, the way they orient their brains is so interesting to me. It's almost kind of like they refuse to ever look at themselves as anything other than a tool to move political interests. And, and the reality of the situation is the political interests don't even make sense for them because they don't ever, they never will work. We're really lacking an ability to see each other's humanity. And what a wild take to be upset at fat people for critiquing clothing companies who often will say, we're size inclusive. We love to be size inclusive. We love diversity. And it's like, what does that look like in practice? How does it feel knowing that you made an entire video and your points don't make any sense? You absolutely have no bearing on the situation. You have no nuance. You can only look at the surface level of stuff. You can never look below the surface. <sighs> <laughs> I 
at the end of the day, I'm just not sure why you would want to protect a company, an it's industry, so or a system oh. over the humans that you share more similarities to. That's a that's a wild take. Like they don't need you to protect them. This woman is actually dumb. I I, I can't. There's no other way to say it than that. This woman has to have something wrong with her. I there's I cannot believe that this woman is actually saying this stuff. And in addition, I think the very important piece here is a white thin dude what is up with this bro what is going on can we just back up real quick you're going off a little bit crazy right now okay all the stuff you said before this point it didn't make any sense obviously but at least it was uh, at least it kind of made a, it made it make sense but at least it was formatted in a correct way you're about to say something you're about okay hold up i need you to think about this for a second i know this is a pre-recorded video but i'm hoping you don't do this you need to think about this for a second, okay? If you're about to say something about this man's race and or gender, and that doesn't have anything to do with the point, I'm going to call you out on that, okay? I'm just going to call you out on that because I'm going to let you know race cannot be changed. Gender, well, sure, certain people can, you know, walk around with swinging dick if they're a woman, sure. But you understand, there are very, these things cannot be changed fundamentally. And if you want to sit there and blame these things on a white dude, that's going to be real interesting, dude. I will have to call you out on that. The very important piece here is... A white, thin... I think thin is subjective here. Isn't that guy six foot seven? He looks like he's a few extra pounds. That dude's probably like 200 pounds. He's probably well, he's probably well over 200 pounds. That guy's probably like 220. Person. I don't know how Leo identifies, but it seems like gives really high masculine energy in many ways. Okay. Does not get to tell... Why? Why? Because he's white? Oppressed groups in society. <gasps> what they are able to complain about <sighs> or not. Oh, it's oh my God. How'd you make it even stupider? How'd you make it even dumber? How'd you do that? How'd you do that? Please, God. This is the worst take I've heard all day. I heard a similar take like this the other day. I heard a white woman. This is very interesting. I don't know why so many white women feel like they can they, they can say this stuff and somehow like they're also shitting on themselves given the fact that they're saying this while white, right? I don't care about race. I don't. Like, I think everybody should be able to talk about everything. And I think that just because you're black or just because you're Asian or just because you're whatever the else, that doesn't mean that somehow you have like an encyclopedic or like a whole, you have the, the numero uno bearing on talking about something. That's dumb. That's actually racist, actually. To sit there and say a white person shouldn't be able to talk about something because it's a mind press, they're talking about an oppressed group is literally racism. You are literally a racist by saying that. Isn't that crazy? But I heard somebody say this the other day where they said, if a black person tells you that they're being offended by something because based off what you said and it's deemed to be racist, then it is racist. That is the most stupid statement I've ever heard in my entire life. And this is basically the same statement because it just because somebody is black and they deem what you're saying to be racist, does that mean it's actually racist? No, that's not how it works. If I said, hey, man, I'm just, I'm going to go to the grocery store and I'm going to pick up this can of Chef Boyardee and a black dude said, hey, man, that's kind of racist, dog. That's really not cool. And I'm going to go. Oh, okay. Well, that's not racist. I just, it's just called it's like Chef Boy RD. I don't know. It's like Italian or something like that, right? I don't think it's like racist because it's not racist. Just because a black dude said it or an Asian dude said it or a an oppressed group of society, which I don't even know what that means. It's so ambiguous. Everybody's oppressed in some particular manner. Can you please emphasize that a little bit more? They, just because they say it, I shouldn't be able to talk about it. Are you dumb? Are you stupid? Then. I also want to take a second and also acknowledge the fact that if this woman actually thinks that a white person should not be able to talk about the opinions of an oppressed group while being a white woman, she is actively contradicting herself within her very own video, given the fact that she is also white talking about an oppressed group in whatever way that she feels fit. But she's not talking about that. She's just saying in general, you shouldn't be talking about it. So how can you also talk about it? Man, my God, did I just, did I just 4D chess this girl? Oh my God, man. Wow. This woman is, wow. In society, what they are able to complain about or not. And if you come here and want to fight me on fat people are no oppressed, okay? Fat people are choosing to be fat. No, fat people, whether they choose to be fat or not, are being oppressed through healthcare systems that don't give a shit about them through simply the act of not being able to find clothing to clothe themselves ah. and many, many more examples. So like, I'm not even going to argue ah. with somebody who says that fat people are not oppressed or <gasps> harmed by systems of oppression. <gasps> so I think that's important to consider like who is, who is Leo Schipolini skips, whatever their last name is complaining about, like, who are they thinking about? What is the visualization in their head when they're like, fat people need to start complaining about these industries. 
I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. It's too much. Ooh, damn. 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 The lack of critical thinking is insane. <laughs> How can you make a video like that? I can't do it, man. I can't do it. This is a long video today. Do you like long? Do you like long ones? Do you like long ones? I hope this video wasn't that cringy. I really hope it wasn't, man. This woman, this last woman, insane. Man, oh my God. Oh my God. You know, it's really crazy, right? I hear a lot of people say like, oh, I would really like to talk to these fat acceptance people because I would demolish them. I don't even think it's about demolishing. I real deal think it's about bestowing upon them or at least some questioning, some pushback, an actual conversation, not even a demolishment. Just the fact that you guys are literally incapable of thinking about things any other way. That should be addressed. You guys are literally caught in a yes queen pattern over and over and over again. The fact that you can make this video and think there's no questioning about it while complaining about, you literally contradicted yourself. Forget it. Forget it. That's the end of the video. That's it. I don't know who Leo is. He said some He said some good points. He backed it up with some evidence. He said some good shit. And then he said, made that apology video, which was not the right move. But I can't say that it was for the wrong move for him. Because he's probably facing a lot, a lot, a lot of anxiety. He's probably going through a lot of shit right now. So I don't, you know, man, I, I see why he might have done that. You know, it is what it is. But these fat people, man... And you know, don't, don't get me wrong. There was a black dude too at the very beginning. Um, dumb. Uh, just, I'm, I'm sorry. There's nothing else to say than that. These people are literally speaking from realms of entitlement so far to the moon that it's probably on Mars at this point. Like these people have the audacity to speak on things while telling people that they cannot speak on things, even contradicting themselves in their own speeches by saying white people can't talk about something while being a white person talking about something. You're beautiful. You know that? You're, you look really good today. I think it's something we got to point out right now. Um, I know this video was real depressing to watch, but you look really good. You look absolutely really amazing today. And the outfit that you're wearing, wow, look at that. That matches. That's really nice. The way those colors contrast with each other. The belt, wow, that belt looks really good. I can see you're not wearing your shoes right now. Wait, are you wearing shoes? Wait a minute, hold on. Those socks. Wow, those socks are really nice. Where'd you get those socks? Those are really nice socks. Wow. Those look really good. Those are really nice socks. And I like the way that your skin looks today. Wow, you are really well lubricated. I can tell that you drank a lot of water to ensure the hydration of your skin. Good job, good, amazing person. I care about you. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, if you are a member of my channel or you wanna become a member of my channel, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button, which I would appreciate. And then you can hit the join button and you can become a member and you'll take a commitment to be with me for the rest of your life. Or if you don't want to, that's completely fine too. Just being here alone is literally sufficient for me. I care about you deeply. Thank you for taking time out of your day to be with me. I hope it was entertaining. Uh, it, it actually hurt me a little bit, but it's all right. It, regardless, you're an amazing, beautiful person. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in iceberg because icebergs is like the perfect way I can define these people. They only see the top when in reality, the entire bottom section is way more valuable. I don't care about your basic opinion that you have. It doesn't make sense because you're not looking at everything else. You're literally just looking at the things that you want to look at and everything else doesn't matter. Even if you want to look at those things, you can't see them. So I don't know, man, these people are literally, I, sometimes I wonder how these people make it through society, given the fact that this woman's also a teacher. Good luck, anybody that's a teacher. Good luck, to, maybe she's teaching things that don't really correlate to that, right? Maybe she's teaching like math or geography or something like that. I don't fucking know. Anything would be better than like logic or something. I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. You smell really great today. I love your aroma. You're not wearing anything? Really? Oh, wow, then your musk is really nice. It smells amazing. I gaze upon it. <sighs> oh, oh my God. Wow, you smell really good. Fantastic, beautiful, you amazing, beautiful person. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and second channel. If you want to check out any of that stuff, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 